Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from the title of today's video, today's video is going to be a little bit more sentimental, a little bit more meaningful towards me, and I hope meaningful towards you guys. A little backstory, I had the amazing opportunity to meet this little girl named Destiny at Fame Expo this year. Hi Destiny, if you're watching. She was diagnosed with stage four cancer. She was literally just one of the most amazing people I've ever met. She was beautiful, she's so happy, she's optimistic, and she's so full of life. And I just really wanted to dedicate a video to her. She gave me this shirt at Fame Expo, it's so cute. It says, I wear gold for Destiny. <laughs> it's September. So that means it's Children's Cancer Awareness Month and I really wanted to make a video dedicated to her as well as everyone that has suffered with this illness and gold is actually the color for children's cancer so I wanted to really incorporate a gold look and that's why I did a gold look. I know I'm not an oncologist and I know I'm not a pediatric oncologist for that matter. I don't study cancer, I don't really know much about cancer but I wanted to use my platform to be able to just bring more awareness to the subject. I know people think that cancer is more of an adult thing but it's not. Cancer can happen to anyone and it's very important important to just be aware. I've never had anyone in my life that has had cancer, so I really can't really speak from experience, but I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to just spread love and positivity, and I really want you guys to cherish the life that you guys have, and just to always be loving and caring for other people. You just never know what kind of struggles they're dealing with. This is what this video is dedicated to. I dedicated to Destiny and those other children suffering with cancer, any kind of cancer, so this video goes out to all you guys. You guys are so strong and so brave and so beautiful. And I commend you guys so much for being brave individuals you guys are. If you guys don't like this kind of video, if you guys don't like me, please don't watch it. I'm not going to say the F word because there could be children watching this one because it is children's cancer awareness. If you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment what you guys thought of it. But without further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> Okay, great, so we're gonna start with this look with my face already done. My, I'm completely like contoured, bronzed, highlighted, everything, except my lipstick, I'll apply lipstick at the end, but I just wanted to really focus on the eyes, and that's what this whole look's about, is about a gold eye. So today, we're gonna be using a lot of makeup geek, I'm excited. I'm gonna take the Morphe E27, which is like a nice fluffy blending brush, amazing for the crease, and I'm gonna take Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek, which is my favorite transition shade of all time. I call it Beaches and Home because it's just, it's just so good. It's like a beautiful, like, peachy color. That's great to transition for anything. I'm already primed. By the way, my eyelids are already primed. So I'm just kind of going in and putting that into the crease. This shade is about two shades darker than my skin tone, but it's such a nice color to transition anything into. Like so. This look is gonna be so easy, you guys. Like, don't even trip. Like, this look is gonna be easy and very just like user friendly. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and take Bitten and Cocoa Bear mixed on a Morphe M433. Can I zoom in a little bit more? Great. So I'm gonna go and put that in my crease, and that's gonna go in the outer corner right into that beaches and cream color. This is why I had beaches and cream down first. Having a transition shade is really great for blending because it makes the blending process a lot easier because you have a color to transition into rather than just going into skin and it's gonna make it look less patchy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that Bitten and Cocoa Bear all the way into the beginning of the eye. And I'm kind of taking it out slightly so you can see this is what it looks like. It's nothing too crazy. Oh, I love the Makeup Geek shadows. They're the best shadows ever, seriously. And then I'm going back in with that E27 by Morphe again and I'm just gonna run that over the colors. So I just want to kind of focus the E27 on the crease and kind of take that out a little bit more. Mmm, looks good, huh? So now I'm going to go in with this new shade that I've never used before. It's called Deep Cocoa, and it's by Morphe, actually. It's a nice little Morphe shade. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe E36 pencil brush, and I'm just going to kind of put that on the outer corner of my eye, just for that added definition, nothing too heavy. This color is so beautiful. It's like in the same exact like color family. So I want it to keep it really nice and warm. I'm pretty. I'm just kind of tossing that into the crease. I like the E36 pencil brush. I mean, it's just a universal brush, but this is really great at getting into the crease and doing like really nice intense detail work. Not intense detail work, I mean just detail work in general. And then I'll go back in with the M433. Kind of blend out that deep cocoa into the other bitten and cocoa bear color. Just to kind of make sure that there's no hard lines. I'm very big on blending and keeping everything very seamless and looking almost like as if you were born with it, you know? Nice diffuse crease, darker on the outer corner. Very easy, very easy. See how easy that shape was. It was very easy. And now for the start of the show, I'm going to be going in with Magic Act by Makeup Geek, which is a foiled shadow. It's a beautiful golden, yellow gold champagne color. It's so stinking pretty. Look at that shit. And I'm going to put that on the lid with my finger. I think just applying the foil shadows with my finger makes it so much better. Try to keep that on the mobile lid. You don't want to take it too, too far up because then it's going to get really shimmery in the crease. So what we're going to do is go back in the M433 and just kind of blend out the edges of that magic act into the bitten and the cocoa bear mix just so that it looks very seamless and very 
just like as if it's supposed to be there. And you should have something like this for the top of the eye. A nice golden, gorgeous golden lid with a nice really just warm crease. Super easy look. Like there's not many steps to it, just a couple shades. So I'm gonna go finish the top of the eye on the other side real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, great. So the eyes are done. The tops of them are at least. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the bottom of the eye now. I already curled my lashes off camera just because, you know, it's easier that way. So let's do the bottom of the eye now because it's just a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix Beaches and Cream with Cocoa Bay. I'm gonna toss that on the lower lash line of my eye just for some outer corner dimension. I'm gonna start on the outer corner. The reason I mix Cocoa Bear with Beaches and Cream is because it kind of lightens the color slightly. So I'm just gonna kind of feather that forward very lightly, nothing too heavy. I'm gonna grab a Morphe M508, which is a very flat, like kind of smudgy brush, and then I'm gonna grab that deep cocoa color from Morphe. I'm gonna put that the closest to the lash line on the outer corner for that added dimension, okay? You don't need to be too neat with it. I'm just trying to stay as close to the lashes as possible. And then I decided I wanna go nude on the waterline, so I'm gonna grab the Tarte Inner Rim Liner and I'm gonna line my inner rim of my eye. <laughs> just to really kinda of help open up my eye. I didn't wanna go white, I don't really like going white on the waterline very much, but I like to go very like nude on the waterline, so I wanted to do that. And then, for just another, this is just an extra kick. You could be done with the eye now, just some mascara and you'll be good to go. But I really wanted to take it to the extra step and I wanted to do a little bit of glitter on the inner corner. So I'm gonna take a glitter glue, any kind of glitter glue works. I'm just testing this one out for a friend. Um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of glitter glue on my finger. I'm gonna take that on the inner corner of my eye. Not too much, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take MAC Reflect Gold, which is one of my favorite glitters of all time. I have it in a little container like this. And a Morphe M326, super small little smudgy brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pack that glitter in my inner corner. And it should look something like this. Nice, just really glittery inner corner. What do you guys think? Fantastic, so we have both the eyes done now, almost completely done, like we just have mascara and lashes to go and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna take my roller lash by Benefit and put that on the, that is, if I can just open this damn mirror. So go ahead and put a little coat of mascara on of your favorite mascara. Mascara's on. I actually went ahead and put the Extended Play Giggle Lash by MAC on the bottom lashes. I think my bottom lashes are kind of like basic as hell. And so what I have to do is I use the MAC Extended Play Giggle Lash because I feel like this one is the only mascara that really helps separate and like give me extension and volume in my bottom lashes. I don't know if that even makes sense, but this is definitely my favorite mascara of all time for the bottom lashes. Patrick and Jacqueline are the one that use this one like religiously, so they got me hooked on it. And the hook shin is real. The hook is real. I don't know what I'm saying. You know this is not a Manny MUA look without some lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my favorite lashes of the moment, New Bounce on Bella Minx, and by moment I mean forever. Try not to sweat while you're doing it because I am sweating up a little piglet storm. We're just having lash trouble today. <laughs> okay, great, great. Here we go. I didn't really feel like doing eyeliner with this look because I didn't want it to cover up any of the gold. I wanted to keep it more on the natural side, so I went ahead and I just did some lashes rather than, and no liner. Still, the lashes give me a lot of definition, so I feel like I don't really need eyeliner, so I like how it looks. The eyes are done, yay! <laughs> this is what they look like. I'm gonna go into you guys in. Okay, great, so now the eyes are done. I'm already done with the face. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the lip now. I'm gonna use Serenity, which is my collab color. I'll leave links and codes down below if you guys are interested in buying it. And I think the lip goes perfectly with this look. So first we're gonna go and line our lips. We're gonna take NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner, which is one of my favorite lip liners from NYX. I just said that. I'm gonna overdraw my lips. So if you wanna overdraw, be my guest. I'm gonna overdraw a queen on my leg of no overdraw. <laughs> You feel me? I love to overdraw with colors like this because I feel like it makes my lips look so much more full and so much bigger than they really are. And then I'm gonna take Serenity, of course, <laughs> and I'm gonna put that on my lip. Such a beautiful color, such a beautiful formula. It's literally everything. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry on the lip. And that's it for the whole entire face. What do you guys think? <laughs> and that's it, that's it for the whole entire look. I know it's such an easy, short video. I mean, hopefully it's short. I'm not really sure how short it's gonna be. I just really hope you guys take optimism and love from this video. That's all I really want from you guys to take. I try to emote positivity and optimism in my channel all the time and that's kind of what I want from you guys as well I really want you guys to just be more positive and loving and caring for others You never know the struggles they may be facing and I know I'm guilty of this I know I've judged people before and I know I've talked crap about people before that I didn't like or whatever Everyone's guilty of it and that's totally okay. No one's perfect obviously, but just kind of be more conscious of things I know if you, if you catch yourself talking shit, maybe just see like why am I talking shit about this person and just kind of reevaluate yourself This video goes out to those children who are suffering with cancer and this video goes out to you guys because you guys are so strong and so brave and I just love you guys so much. I can keep rambling, but I'm gonna try not to ramble. I just wanted to get this point across, love and optimism and loving your loved ones dearly because you never know when news like that can happen to you, you know what I mean? Like you're not exempt. I know 
people might think that they're superhuman and they're exempt from any kind of cancer or anything like that, but you're not. And it's important to always love the people that you love and tell them that you love them. I hope you guys take a good positive note from this video. I love you guys so much. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all my social links, as well as the stuff in this video will be linked down below. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. And bye Destiny, if you're watching, <laughs> bye. Let's go ahead and get started into this video. Emmy! Stop, I'm trying to have a moment. <laughs> so let's go and start this bitch. That was a little, that was a little intense, wasn't it? Off you go, camera. Oh, you fuck. Can I have a moment here? Shit. Okay, great. So we're gonna go and start this bad boy look. Why do I always have to say bad boy? I don't understand why I say bad boy all the time. Is it working now? Or is it still stomping? This thing, should I zoom in a little bit more? How close are we vlogging? <laughs> like poor close or nor close? What's the run? Ugh. Beat, bitch, beat. <laughs> cool beans! Cool beans. Cool beans, cool beans. Cool beans. Natural is shy, shied? Shire. <laughs> Ugh, I gotta chill.